Bruce Lee, super focused, getting ready for combat. And then the camera will zoom in because it was the 70s. As a kid growing up in Hawaii, Bruce Lee to me was the only Asian person I ever saw in movies and TV who kicked ass. Bruce Lee was a martial artist, movie star, philosopher, poet, uh, man of the people, and uh, just another Seattle dude. I went to Garfield High School, University of Washington, met the love of his life uh, here. Bruce Lee started his freshman year at UW, the same year that the Space Needle was built. I-5 construction had just begun that very same year. The Seattle we know now, the embryo of it, started when Bruce Lee was around. It was a hip-hop generation that created what we know now is Bruce Lee. I mean, you, you can see the Photoshop Bruce Lee t-shirts where he's like, he's, he's a Bruce Lee with headphones and turntables. Every hip hop artist who comes to town on tour, they're not out here catching fish at Pike Place or, or going to Space Needle, they're going to visit Bruce Lee. Seattle in the 60s, you're looking at uh, the, the civil rights movement unravel all, all over the country and then you're realizing you're living in a city that itself is segregated. The cartoonish stereotype of the Asian male, which sadly still, still exists to this day. The meek Asian male, very familiar with that. I've been teased with it, but I also saw it constantly. Um, long duck dong. What's happening, hot stuff? Even the, the kid from Goonies who I, I wanted to root for and he, he, he was cool to me. Come to find out he's a nerd to everybody else. All those stereotypes, I think Bruce Lee, he was very aware of them. That in the United States, I think something about the Oriental, the, I mean the true Oriental should be shown. Hollywood sure as heck hasn't. You better believe it, man. I mean, it's always that pigtail and bouncing around, chop chop, you know, with the eyes slant and all that. Instead of looking at the stereotype and being like, these Asian dudes on, on screen are like sidekicks and, and meek people, I'm just gonna be a badass all the time. Well, guess what? Like, now you end up with a whole another caricature. He wrote poetry and he trained hard and, and kicked, kicked ass. Like, he knew that the, the best way to fight a one-dimensional portrayal is to be as multi-dimensional as possible. I watched my six-year-old son watch Enter the Dragon for the very first time. He had the same exact face that I had pretty sure that I had. Whenever Bruce Lee triumphed, he was like, yeah, me too. To see someone who, from that community, from that, that identity, from that racialized identity was important. Long story short, Bruce Lee made it a little more cooler to be an Asian dude. There's a mythology that surrounds him and his legacy and what he represented. He symbolized what can be done as an Asian male growing up in America.